everything that has some bad things, it must also have something good. So I thought, what could that be in fungi? And in that moment, the thought appeared in my head that maybe they are interesting. And from that moment, I was hooked. They became so interesting and it was so fascinating. Any little innocent, boring, brown, little ugly mushroom even has some hidden secrets. I didn't want to go into this kind of commercial, industrial science because I, I thought that would be the same as selling my soul. But uh, then I realized that what I wanted to do was actually to use my knowledge, my knowledge about fungi and nature, and to make something good about that. And I realized that that's what I can do at Nova Science. I can be a part of the saving the world thing. We are entering a phase of the biotechnology era. Four billion people somehow uses products that in one way or the other have been touched, you could say, by biotechnology today. For example, when you process cotton in many of the textile factories, they would use harsh chemicals to do that. And you can use enzymes. You know, a French baguette, it's all very nice when it's baked in the morning and you eat it at lunch and then you buy new bread in the evening because it's already gone stale in the evening. If you just waste materials in that way that you bring in, you do all the processing and baking and then you have to discard it later on in modern day society. If you have the ability by adding a certain type of enzyme and then you have a freshness for a few days. Können Biotechnologieunternehmen mit ihrer Art zu wirtschaften die Welt retten? Ich glaube, dass die Zukunft des 21. Jahrhunderts in der Biologie liegt. Aber ich glaube, dass es zur Rettung der Welt mehr als nur Unternehmen braucht. Aber am Ende ist es der Konsumer, Mensch und sein Verhalten, der dazu beiträgt, die Welt zu retten. We use microorganisms and enzymes that we find in nature. You can use microorganisms in agriculture to have better growth and better uptake of nutrients and so on. And these are all natural. Then we work with enzymes, so resulting proteins that microorganisms produce. And those we find also in nature from different types of microorganisms. And it's rare to find those directly in nature that are so stable. So we can take the gene, modify the gene structure a little bit to have the resulting protein be more stable. So adapted, you could say, to that environment that it has to work in. And then we use contained production, meaning that we grow the microorganisms that we have then manipulated in the large factories and tanks from which we isolate the protein product and then keep the cells and kill the cells. And uh, that is actually then translated into a fertilizer. When trying to apply these new techniques to solve some of the problems that we face today, we also have to sort of consider the ethical perspective of the field. Obviously, I myself have a very high interest in nature. Uh, one of my biggest passions is, is ecology, especially microbial ecology. It's very important for me to keep the natural balance in the world. Vergewaltigt der Mensch durch moderne Züchtungsmethoden, durch Gentechnologie die Natur. Der Mensch kann als sieben Milliarden auf der Welt existieren, weil wir seit Zehntausenden von Jahren die Natur manipulieren und uns zum Untertan machen. Und da können wir nicht einfach sagen, ich will keine Gene im Salat oder im Mais haben. Die sind da. Ohne die Gene gibt es keinen Mais und keinen Salat. Und Das Manipulieren der Umwelt zu unseren Zwecken ist Teil, was uns zum Menschen gemacht hat. Ich glaube, dass es richtig ist, dass man sich jeder Technologie, die mit großen Heilsversprechungen daherkommt, kritisch gegenüberstellen muss. Ich glaube aber, dass 
der Lebensstil, den wir insbesondere im Westen jetzt adaptiert haben und den Wohlstand, den wir uns gönnen wollen, ohne technische Entwicklung nicht weitergehen will. I believe and we believe that it is also the right thing to do for our environment that we increase the efficiency in which we produce by, do, by using such technologies. We just have to make sure that we don't do anything to harm biodiversity, uh, that it's safe to use. We live in a world that is the only habitat on which we live and we should do the best nachhaltig for future generations aus dieser Welt machen und dabei wird uns Technologie helfen, aber nur, wenn sie im Dialog mit der Gesellschaft geformt wird. Musik